Thank you, uh, Auntie Lea and Uncle John, and distinguished members of ANU, distinguished guests, friends, good evening. It is indeed an honor and a great privilege for me to stand before you and say something about Auntie Lea and Uncle John, who are so, so special to me. I met them more than 40 years ago when I was a little girl. They had come from the US with their kids who were speaking with a deep American accent, and I was speaking my Camero accent, but uh, all of them were accents. <laughs> So, but I was, you know, mesmerized because they had so much time for me, a little girl from the village, and I was so mesmerized about everything about them. I was living with my sister, Rosemary, and my brother, uh, Professor Zabron, and whenever they took me to their house, they would always tell, tell me to be in good behavior, you know, because uh, from the village you can just look at these people and, you know, start wondering. That is when uh, Auntie Rhea became interested with me. She, I was a little girl, she was a professor. I wasn't a judge like I am today, a senior judge in the Court of Appeal, but along the way, she has been so interested with my life. She calls me, she sends me food, she sends me written messages, text messages to encourage me and to support me. And tonight, when I was asked to say a few words, I wondered what can I say about a woman of excellence, the first professor woman in Kenya in East Africa, a most decorated academic, an excellent mother, wife to my uncle John, grandmother, an excellent woman of God who puts God before everything that she does. I have learned so much from Auntie Rhea that all I need to do is put God first in all the dreams and in all the vision, and God will see it happen. I have learned from Professor to put excellence and never, never to compromise on integrity. It doesn't matter what it is. As we were coming here, my son told me, how a very, um, uh, one of these very flamboyant politicians went to ANU and wanted to be given a degree so that he can stand for a political seat. And ANU showed him the door. He went to another university and he was given a degree. Never mind, he never sat with, no, no one can confirm that they were classmates. This university will remain unnamed and the fellow will also remain unnamed because I don't want him to bring a fake case against me in my very court. <laughs> because you know fake, like fake news, there are fake cases you can bring and I can be sued for defamation. But those are the standards and Rhea has set at ANU. And for the incoming leadership, I can assure you there is so much to learn from Professor Lea. I just want to say two things about her. She's a woman who has defined age. Look at how beautiful she is. When I retire, <laughs> I just want to look beautiful like her and step out and go and enjoy the rest of my life in style. What you don't know and somebody has mentioned is that Professor Lea is so innovative. In her retirement, you have not just seen the best of her. 
I know she will start a school of retirement. Because in Kenya, we do not know how to retire in style. People sit in office, some of them, they are virtually carried out with their chairs and thrown out. Others come to court to obtain court orders, injunctions, to stop the retirement. So I really thank ANU for celebrating my auntie, for giving her the dignity and the honor, and for doing that to her, it will also be done to you and to many others. And there, we will find a place to go and consult, and I learn a lot from uh, Auntie Rea. Uh, so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to celebrate and pay tribute to an excellent, excellent uh, woman of God, an excellent academic, um, and an excellent mother and grandmother to my friend uh, Kinya and the others. And thank you all for coming to celebrate and say such good ones to my auntie and my uncle, uh, John. Because John has stood by Auntie Rea. Many men feel challenged when their wives achieve in the house of Auntie and Hanko, there is no competition. The successes of Auntie Rea have been successes for Uncle John and for the rest of our family and for us community. And for this, I have enlisted my husband to walk along Uncle John <laughs> so that when I succeed like Uncle Auntie Rea, he doesn't feel challenged by me so that we can have peace like there is peace in their home. So what I'm trying to say is that this couple, this outstanding couple, is a school by itself where we need to go and learn so many things from them. Thank you for impacting our lives. Thank you.